Hey guys, I wanted to record a video having a closer look at this drill press here. So, <clears throat> basically, this top portion here, I believe there used to be a crank or some sort of handle attached here and that's what broke off. So, this portion here turns this gear here, which in turns it locks in with this gear and spins this big wheel. Now that controls the drill portion. So while you're cranking the top, you're spinning this wheel and spinning the drill. This wheel here simply controls the elevation of the uh, of the drill. So if you wanted to drill down, you would spin uh, clockwise and lower your drill. So, I think what has to happen here is, um, this is this regular steel, this piece here, I believe. So, I need to fabricate a handle, some sort of crank, on here, so that when you're on top of it, you're spinning the crank, and it's spinning this. So, this is the wheel that will get screwed into here, and that's no problem. But... Something tells me there must be some sort of other purpose for this. You see it has kind of a rubberized um, surface. And there's some tight kind of um, woven strapping in there. A couple layers of it. So, uh, I'm not quite sure. But, <clears throat> anyways, the game plan is for me to... I'm going to clean this up. Maybe do a little bit of light sanding. Probably wipe it down with some kind of oil or something. Overall, it's in pretty good shape. It's nice. It's got to be an uh, inch and three quarters. But um, this, I'd like to take apart. Of course, it's very old and it's been sitting for some time, so I'm not having a ton of luck. My first goal was to get this piece off. I thought by removing this set screw that it would pop up, but that looks like it's mushroomed so that it wouldn't slide right up, so I don't know. I haven't really spent a lot of time on this, I just kind of hit it lightly with a wire wheel in a couple spots to see what I had underneath. But, <clears throat> I know for 20 bucks I really couldn't go wrong there, even if it's just uh, something to look at. But, uh... This all has to be cleaned up. It's it's pretty pretty hard spinning. You know, you, you wouldn't want it to be this it's rough when you're using it. So I'll go through and I'll get all up in there, all the gears. I'm, I'm going to try my best to take it all apart, but sometimes with this older stuff, you don't have that look on your side. So, but I don't see any maker marks. I don't know the manufacturer. Although I'd like to, but as of right now, I don't, I don't, I don't know if there is any markings on it. It's hard to tell with the the rust that's on here, but <clears throat> it's a cool piece nonetheless. I think they might call these uh, post drills, but. It's very cool. But yeah, just a quick video. A little more in-depth look at this thing. So, what I'm going to do is uh, spin this a little bit. You can see that there's existing holes that were, uh, that were used. And the wooden wheel was screwed on and, you know, the screws were stripped out over time. So, I'll just give it a little quarter turn. And, um... Uh, do some light pilot holes in the wood and create some new mounting holes for this. Get that nice and perfect. And that'll be on there tight. So, but check out this wheel. It's cool stuff. Yeah, and like I said, the vendor wanted to uh, turn this into a table lamp. He said he was going to have his buddy sandblast it and, uh, 
you know, I, I was like, oh, no, 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 no. So, yeah, just kind of chipping away at these tools. I got a bunch of them kind of cleaned up and, and sorted out, you know. My favorite piece was that little handsaw. It was shaped like a little gun, just a little handle. So, this wrench, I think, is, is also pretty cool. This is... 551 so appreciate it got to get ready for work here hope everyone has a great night